Several houses around the Ganaja village near Lokoja, the Kogi state capital, have been submerged with water rising to the roof level of ground floor of some multi-story buildings. The development, which was worsened by an overnight rain, became more noticeable on Tuesday following the overflow of the river Niger banks. Torrential rains accompanied by thunder and lightning were recorded from about 11.45 p.m. on Wednesday and lasted well over two hours. And as at Thursday morning, portions of the Ganaja Road had become impassable owing to the steady rise in the water level. Vehicle owners, particularly those with business or office located after the Ganaja village roundabout and beyond, resorted to trekking through the backwaters of the 500 housing units to get to their destinations. Elsewhere in Kotokanfe, Kogi local government area and agricultural hub, several rice paddies and other farms have been submerged by flood as well and threatening to overrun federal highways that connect the state to the federal capital territory, Abuja. And to give us an update on the situation now is Odimayo Latunde, who is a journalist with Grace FM based in Bokoja. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Latunde. Oh, thank you for joining me. All right, uh, quickly bring us up to speed. What's the situation uh, on ground now in Ganaja and the environs? You see, as I speak to you right now, things are really, really difficult for people uh, to move uh, within Ganaja axis and its environment. As in the last uh, five days, uh, some residents have to trek several miles to be able to have access to uh, vehicles in order to move to their destination. As I speak to you, the, the road between Ganaja to Ganaja village is in a discoverable state. And the several appeals have been made for the government to attend to that road, but it has always fallen into deaf ears. As I said earlier on, as at yesterday that I visited that place, only articulated vehicles could pass that road. Any small vehicle that passes the road will be stopped. Uh, I'm wondering, how are people coping with this description that you're giving us? And any word from the government as yet? As I said, uh, the, the government on their own part, they have come out to say they will be giving uh, uh, some relief materials to those that have been affected uh, with this flood. But we shouldn't forget, uh, what happened in 2012? It, it, will I say, it should have been an eye-opener uh, for the government to see that uh, uh, sub, uh, subsequently the will at least uh, address any issues of fraud. But it seems uh, that is not the case right now. But I, I, I must uh, say this. Prior before this flooding, the government on their own part have been warning countlessly, telling those that are in a flood-prone area to evacuate themselves. But when I had an interview with some of them, they said, if we evacuate ourselves from where we are living, where are we going? The government didn't provide anything for us, so they are saying we should leave. So that is also another factor. You understand? So we, we are hoping that uh, the government will intervene because things are really, really becoming unbearable for the people. But say, those of them that are living in this flood prone area and those of them that are currently right now in Ganaja village. As I speak to you this morning, I got, I got a call. As I speak to you, many vehicles have been struck. It's rained this morning now. And imagine. Vehicles are compiled now in Ganada village. No movement. We don't, we don't, they don't know their face right now. And as I said, the only way out, the only way out is for the government to at least key into the project of the previous administration led by Captain Indiswada. In Ganada village, yet, there was a bypass uh, where that side to create. He has done the project to about 60 or 70 percent. What will stop the government from completing the project? And if they have completed that project, that project would have leaked uh, Ganaja Village to Zone 8, from Zone 8 to the express route. You know, then there will at least there will be free flow of movement. You know, but because of some uh, politicking or politics on, uh, on the ground, I don't know why the government of the day is not willing to complete that project. We also understand that people living around the Ganaja Village and motorists had to contend with making do with a single lane of the major road, road uh, you know, yes. owing to the fact that uh, the road is already bad. Are there any indication yes. what you know, can be done to address this, given the current situation also? As I can speak to you right now, yeah, things are really, really difficult for them. Imagine someone that uh, is having his... Uh, is working place inside the town and is living in Ganaja village, he finds it difficult to come to the town. And I think that is not even enough. Those vehicles coming from this, uh, the southeastern part of the country, they are being stopped in Ganaja village. The only alternative route for them is either 
if they are having small vehicles, they are to go and pass 500 units. And that is about twice the journey of the road between Ganada and Ganada village. And it has really, really made a lot of things difficult for the people. And it has also made their standard of living low right now. Why? Because there are people that could not uh, uh, move from one place to another. So they are being stuck with whatever they are having at home. You understand? And you can now see uh, some youth since they're not, uh, since the uh, Lord has taken over the whole uh, place, they start extorting money from those that are having attributed vehicles, directing them to move towards the direction so that their vehicles will not be stuck. And this has really, really uh, continued for over one week, and it has really made things unbearable for the people. And I know that when there's any difficulties, uh, the people uh, that are supposed to render help will look for a way to see how they go be extorting either the motorists or the, uh, the residents in the area. Yes, you know about it. Before now, between Gaja and Ganaja village, they're supposed to collect 17 air. Instance, but right now, since there's, uh, there's flood, it's going to be very difficult for the uh, the tricycle to move from uh, one place to another. So they tend to maneuver themselves so that they can at least um, convey their passengers to their various destinations. Yes, you are actually right. The, the prices of uh, the sense of fare has increased. And as I speak to you right now, uh, those vehicles, th those commercial vehicles that are operating within the state capital, they don't have come towards this access. And I, I don't want us to just limit the flooding to Ganada area alone. And I speak to you, as an Kolo, there's a place called Anakolo here in Okoda. It has been totally submerged with flood. That is not, I think that wasn't enough. There's a place called Sakrino, uh, uh, Sakinuma, the same thing, close to Nakaku area. It has also been submerged with flood. Pelele, there's some parts of Pelele also that has also been submerged with flood. There's some parts of, uh, 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 a water estate in Pelele also, it has also been submerged with flood. So this has really, really, really uh, put a halt to many activities here in the uh, I'm sure we'll get you again to further this conversation. Thank you so very much, Mr. Latunde, and we hope that you, you all keep safe in spite of the current situation in Lokoja. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.